Oh, this is Ron here uh, from the uh, you know the Xeno Nation network of shows, and also a proud member of the Drone Seekers. And uh, I'm I got a video for you today. I kind of want to set it up a little bit here. I went out uh, last week. Uh, this is Sunday. I, I went out on Thursday uh, down to the Longport, uh, you know, the Longport Beach, the next town uh, south of my location in Margate City, New Jersey. And I went out for a little comparison test between the uh, the little uh, Mavic Mini drone and uh, the Scotio drone. And not that these drones really compare that much because the uh, you know the Scotio is twice the price of the Mavic Mini, and um, also you know the, the Scotio is known as kind of the obstacle avoidance drone, and the Mini doesn't even have obstacle avoidance. So again, it, it's not really. It's not even right off the top, it's not even meant to be a fair comparison. The only reason I compare them is because of the, my two most recent drones and the ones I've been flying the most. So uh, I took them out, you know. Again, uh, outside of that, there's no comparison between price and features and whatever. Um, again, I've already said the one's twice as much as the other one, but anyhow, and they were not even meant as competitors. But again, the only reason I did is because they're my two most recent drones. So um, I went out again to the beach in Longport, it was a very cold day. And uh, I took the Scotty up first, and then I took the Mini up, and I took the Scotty back up again for a second flight. So I have more video from the Scotty than I do the Mini. Not that I'm trying to, you know, uh, dish the Mini here. I only have one battery for the Mini, so it only got one flight in, and and the Scotty got two in. And um, and I'm not even I'm not even gonna tell you which one I thought was better. Or this and that. I'm just gonna you know show you the video, and let you decide which you know which you thought was better and I'm not going to make you guess which one was which I clearly you know state I put a, a 3d graphic up telling you this is the mini and then when I switched to the um, Skydew I put another 3d graphic up telling you I switched to the other drone and when I switch back again you'll see the same graphic so you always know what video you're looking at and this video is unprocessed you know I mean I haven't color corrected it or, or done anything to change the quality of the video um, I, of course I shot the mini in 2.7K, 30 frames per second, the highest settings you can do with it, and the Skydoo shot in uh, 4K, uh, 30 frames, uh, 60 frames per second. So the, the kind of the highest video it can do. And I'm going to render it all down to, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to render it all down to yet, but I'm going to, you know, render the, the, the you know, the quality, uh, maybe, maybe 1080p, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I'll put it at, but uh, anyhow. So um, that's going to be the first half of the show. Or the video, sorry, and and then people have been getting on me about the, well, how's the picture quality from the Scotty O2? A lot of people have asked me that question, and I shot a couple pictures, but nothing that I really could judge from. So I shot a whole bunch of photos with the Scotty O and the Mavic Mini, and the video and the photos were taken in the same location, basically at the same uh, lighting. And this is kind of near sunset, so of course the lighting was changing quickly. But again, you'll see the videos basically the same, flying the same paths, the same photos. Um, you know, so you kind of can compare a little bit again. The light changes quickly, so it's you know, unless I had both in the air side by side taking the pictures, it wouldn't have been a totally equal competition, but you understand. So, anyhow, um, first half video, second half photos, and you could judge the quality photos again, totally unedited. Now, I mean, a lot of people like to see this unedited, you know, stuff, and I definitely understand, but of course, these pictures, especially the pictures, the video too, but the pictures. I could especially improve the pictures if I took them into um, Lightroom or Luminar and and you know worked them a little bit. I could make the I could have made the pictures look a lot better than what you're seeing here. But uh, I know a lot of people want to see straight out of the camera, so that's what you're going to see here. Maybe on a later date, I'll go back in and you know uh, do what I can with the pictures and really make them pop. But you're just seeing unedited straight from the camera. So um, you know uh, I hope you enjoy this. At the end, leave the comments. Leave. Which one you thought was better? Which one you liked better? And uh, again, I'm I, I'm not even making a any judgment or whatever here. You know, I'll let the the viewers judge what they like better, what they thought was you know which one's a better value for the money. So um, I, I just wanted to get this out so um, you know people would just have an idea of what these drones could do. And again, it's cool, but it's nice. It's always nice to see what it could do against a, another drone's camera so uh I, one quick mention the second flight on the sky it was really getting cold and uh, i i think that affected the sky the first the first time i flew it, i had no problems at all 
you know, no no video breakups, no range problems. The second flight, it it uh, I lost connection like three times, but the good news is every time it did a, a perfect return home to me, flew high at 150 feet back to me uh, like clockwork. So the the fail safe return home for signal loss worked great for me. I didn't have any of the issues where people talk about flying low to the ground and things like that. So um, and I'll go into that more in another video, but um, but enjoy. And I uh, said, remember, first half's all video and the second half's all uh, photos. So um, enjoy. Thank you. 